Today I want to show you guys a brand new website brought to us by Tencent, the Hanyuan 3D. The website provides a good amount of tools that are very efficient at making 3D models within a couple of minutes. Before we get going here, shout out to Tencent for reaching out to me, trying this product and being able to showcase it to everyone. So normally when creating 3D models for things, applying animations to them, this usually takes an insane amount of time to do. But with Tencent's new tools inside of their website, this allows you to save so much time, whether you wanna use it for gaming, to get thumbnails, plug them into different apps, you can easily put pictures down, create 3D models for them, download them and plug them into anywhere that you want to then configure the assets even further. So to get right into it, I'll just show you guys a couple of examples that you can do here. First things first, we're going to go up to the laboratory. We'll check out a few of these that people have made already. There's some pretty crazy ones, like there's one for Spider-Man. You guys know we mess with Spider-Man. There's another one for Spider-Man. This one actually looks really good. And it's as simple as, like I said, drawing something, putting it in here, and it will create a model for it. But with the tools on Tencent's new website, you can do this in mere minutes. And the usage of these tools is extremely important using all kinds of advanced technology and using useful tools that really let you get kickstarted on a lot of projects using 3D models saves you a ton of time. So let's go to the 3D texture generation here. You can use one of these default models if you want or you can use one that you created with the tools on this website, plug it in there. We'll just use one of the default ones for now. We'll just use this cat, for example. Let's turn it into a black and gray cat that's smiling. And it takes just a little bit of time, not too long though, with incredible results at that. And here we have it. It's done. It didn't take too long, just like less than a couple of minutes. And we set a black and gray cat that's smiling. And this is what it gave us. And this is incredibly simple as you could use this as a baseline, go tweak it how you want. You could be more specific in the text box to give it exactly what you want out of here. They have different texture styles that you can use whenever you want to create these. It is a very efficient tool. If you were looking to create 3D models for things, it's once again a baseline or a Kickstarter to anything that you want to create it for. It could be for a game if you're creating a game. It could be used for thumbnails and whatnot. Plug these into your other app. Give them their own animations. Fixate them how you choose. It's just an incredible cut time deal for this kind of artistry. Okay, so we've gone into the lab. I've showed you guys the cat with the 3D texture generation. I'm gonna show you the SketchUp 3D one. This one's extremely simple. I've been using it a lot, just playing around with it. And I'm somebody who cannot draw. I am terrible at drawing. So, but anything that you can do, even if it's like a simple sketch, I'll just show you here. Here's some assets that I have. So even something as simple as this, I like made this in paint took me like just a couple of minutes once again i'm terrible at drawing as you'll see here this picture is horrendous i don't know what this is right but even plugging this in it actually made me a pretty cool 3d model out of it and very simple easy concept took just a couple of minutes to do same with this one the sketch took literally five seconds uh, yeah it's creepy i get it it's kind of wild but something as easy as that you plug it in it can give you a model like this so what we're going to do is I went to a superhero image generator. You know, we're about Spider-Man. So I'm just going to take this image and I'm going to plug it into this. So we go to the laboratory. We go to SketchUp 3D and then we're going to put that image there, which is Spider-Man. And it's as simple as this. We describe what our what we want our image to be and then we'll generate it. We'll just put in superhero with black white and red that might be kind of cool black white and red spider-man let's just see what this does and it does take a couple of minutes not too long and it should spit us out exactly what we asked for and once again you can get way more in depth with it with your descriptions with the sketch that you make yourself or you can do like me where you're terrible at drawing and it's something simple but still gives you something out it's already turning out pretty decent exactly like the picture i think the picture had like the way the hands were because it is a off of an ai website the hands were a little different but you can you can see it's mimicking it pretty well 
So if you do this yourself, it's, it's honestly on point. It's really nice. An extremely efficient tool to shortcut all this hard work on the 3D models making just for you. Another really good one is the 3D character generation. You just plug in a portrait of yourself and it will create a 3D avatar for yourself. What I've done here is I just went and I took a picture of Tom Holland. As you see here, you need like a portrait of sorts. So I have a picture of Tom Holland for Spider-Man. We're just gonna plug that one in there and we're gonna see what kind of avatar it gives us for this character. Very simple, very basic. And what should we make him? Do the urban white collar, like the CEO? Let's turn him into a CEO. Let's see what we get out of here. And while we wait on that, we'll go back here to the assets from what we've done earlier. And here's the Spider-Man that we made. We said we wanted him to be black, white, and red. And it was of this image right here. And this is what it turned out and gave us. Just like a pure 3D model of it. I mean, this is pretty good, especially for how much time it would take to make this normally. And it indeed made it almost exactly like it did the image, even though the image is a little busted in the fingers. I mean, it made it exactly like that. So, and there's a 3D model for you to download for exactly what you want. We can even give him bones. And before we do that, we show the animations with them and stuff. If you're interested in this and you want to create your own little models, you can do it absolutely free. Link in the description below. Also first pin comment. Just click it, it'll take you right there. All you have to do is make an account. I made one with Google, very simple. It'll give you 20 free a day where you can generate whatever models you want off your sketches, pictures, and whatever you desire, really. So be sure to check out the link in the description in the first pinned comment if you're interested. And what I mean by bones is we essentially give him wiring where with the advanced animation generation, we can click on different actions and animations and make him do them. So here I've clicked dance. He's doing like a old school, like twist dance. You can make them run, walk, just various actions. For the very end bit, we'll come back here to the Tom Holland 3D avatar that we tried to create. We use this picture of him as Spider-Man. We said, put him in a suit and tie, kind of like make him the CEO or whatnot. And this is what it ended up giving us. Very high quality 3D avatar. It's just as easy as coming over here, clicking download, and now you have the 3D model to input in any app, making anything that you want around it. And I'll just do a little 360 here. The hair on him is actually nice too, matches good. Yeah, high quality stuff here. And as I said earlier, if you're a good artist, you can sketch a picture of yourself or anything that you like, and you plug it in right there, just something very simple. It can make 3D avatars just like this. And if you wanna try it, it's completely free. I'll have the link in the description in the first pinned comment. It's 3D.hanyuan10cent.com. All you have to do is make an account and you get 20 free tokens a day to generate whatever you want. But yeah, that's it. There's everything, incredible website amazing tools you can make lots of good assets use them for 3d modeling and whatever you want to do i know a lot of you are a lot better artists than i am so you can make use of this on some crazy advanced levels you enjoy the content like sub comment you know the drill do the thing below and after this we're back on our regular schedule programming spider-man text and all the usual uploads so yeah that's it y'all have a good one